Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm sharing with you all a nut cake or a peanut brittle. So if you'd like to see how to make this easy recipe, keep watching. Okay guys, to start this recipe, you're going to use a heavy bottom pan and into that you're going to go in with your sugar. To this I'm going to go in with my water vanilla or mixed essence. I'm going to grate in some fresh nutmeg. In goes, you can use either cinnamon stick, but I'm using cinnamon powder and that way we wouldn't have to fish out the cinnamon stick. And in goes some ginger. And I'm also going to go in with some honey, which is totally optional. So this I'm gonna go in with two cinnamon leaves so we're gonna cook this until the sugar dissolves now you guys see how that's bubbling away you're going to allow it to continue to cook we want this to start to reduce and start to crystallize slightly before we add in our peanuts okay guys this has been boiling away or simmering away for about 10 minutes now and I'm gonna test it now to see the consistency of that sugar so you want to pick it up and let that sugar syrup drop from the spoon if you see it starting to try to form a thread you'll know that um it's ready for the peanuts Okay, so that I don't know if you guys saw that, but it tried to form a thread. So what I'm going to do is remove the cinnamon leaves. And now I'm going to go in with my dry roasted peanuts. You can buy dry roasted peanuts. You don't have to make it or you can make it. You can toast it on a medium heat for about 15, 20 minutes. So now we're going to be cooking this here until it starts to crystallize. You want that to happen so that the nut cake can hold together. And if you guys wanted to color this, of course, feel free to. Okay guys, look at the consistency of this. You see how it's nice and it's very, very thick. It's cooking away really nicely. So I'm going to be making this like a brittle. So I'm going to be pouring out oil and then I'll just break it into pieces. That will make life easier for me. So all I have to do is test the sugar now and to test the sugar I'm going to pick up my spoon and I'm going to look at the sugar as it's dropping and if it starts to form a thread I'll know that okay it needs to be poured at this time. Okay I saw it I don't know if you guys can see it but it formed that thread. Okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this off the stove and now it's to pour it out so guys I'm using my silicone um, mat for this if you don't own a silicone mat of course use the traditional banana leaves just want to pour that and spread it out guys once you spread it out you're going to allow it to cool and it's going to harden and once it hardens and I'll show you guys what the next step is and all you have to do I'm going to turn it over on this side and then I'm going to take my knife and I'm just going to hit on it to try to crack it up so like a brittle it's gonna be easier this way um, to get it into pieces guys see and of course you can break these up bigger or smaller according to how you want them and I wanted to tell you guys, you noticed that mine's is a little bit on the dark side. When I was testing the sugar, what I didn't do was I did not low down the temperature on the stove. So that is what I should have done. But so guys, now for the test of tasting this. I'm going to come closer so you guys can hear. Mmm. 
Okay, so not too hard and not soft. So guys, I hope you all enjoyed this recipe. Make it, let me know down below, comment, I want to hear from you. If you have any issues, you can always email me at natashaskitchen19 at gmail.com. Please remember to like, share, and if you love what you see on this channel, please subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified every time I post a new video. Thank you guys for joining me today and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!